This tutorial is on a variation of one or more of the basic pattern types that you may come across in any of your P5, P6 or PSLE exams. I will be proceeding based on the assumption that you are already very familiar with the basic pattern types. If you don't know any of the patterns on this list, please watch the previous 6 videos in the patterns playlist on my YouTube channel, starting with the overview video. If you are familiar with some of the patterns on this list, but not all, just check out the specific tutorial videos for those you don't recognize, but do also check out the overview video. The first pattern variance is from the 2019 PSLE math paper. Part A requires us to complete the table. You can fill in the bottom row immediately because it's just a matter of adding up the grey and white triangles. We only need to find a pattern when we get to the last column. First of all, just see if any pattern jumps out at you immediately. Looking at the diagram, we can tell that it's alternating rows of grey and white triangles. So we know pattern 5 will have an additional row of white triangles. So we can just manually continue the pattern and fill in the table accordingly without too much trouble. For part B, we are required to find the total number of triangles. Looking at the diagram, it's almost like a triangular pattern sequence, but don't be tricked. Look at the numbers here. Do you immediately recognize this pattern? If not, go down the list of common patterns and eliminate what you can. It's not constant difference, but it is square numbers. So write down the product of the square roots, and find a link between the square roots and the figure numbers. It's pretty straightforward in this case. The figure numbers are exactly the same as the square roots. So to find the total triangles for figure 250, we just take 250 times 250, and that will be 62,500. For the last part, we need to find the percentage of grey triangles in figure 250. So to do that, we need to know the total triangles, which we have already done. It's 62,500. Now we also need to know the number of grey triangles. If we are unable to do so, we can also find the white triangles and then just take the total minus the white triangles to get the grey triangles. Let's try and find a pattern for the grey triangles. It's not constant difference, not square numbers, not constant difference grouping or double up, but it is triangular numbers. So we can write down the formula and the value of n. Let's try and find a link between the figure numbers and n. It's not so straightforward because there's no consistent pattern. So there are two ways to proceed. Maybe there's one pattern for even figures and another pattern for odd figures. It seems like for odd figures, the figure number is n plus 1. For even figures, the figure number is n. So since figure 250 is even, that means that the value of n is 250. So to find grey triangles, we take 250 times 251 divided by 2, which is 31,375. Another method we can try is to create another row for the difference between white and grey triangles. Notice that the difference for each figure is the figure number itself. But be careful, are there more grey or white triangles? Again, it's not consistent. If the figure is odd, there are more white triangles. If the figure is even, there are more grey triangles. Figure 250 is even, so there are more grey triangles. Since we know the total and the difference for figure 250, we can find the number of grey triangles by taking 62,500 plus 250 divided by 2, which also gives us 31,375. To find the percentage of grey triangles, we express grey triangles as a fraction of total triangles and convert it to a percentage, which is 50.2%. Understanding how to solve this question is not nearly enough. You need a lot of practice. It's just common sense. It might seem like a hard question now, but practice it enough times and you'll be able to solve it with your eyes closed. But where are you going to get enough examples to practice? Spiderweb Math is a website that I've created for my students which regenerates the same questions over and over again, and is automatically marked. This way, you can just focus on getting the repetitions in. If you found this video useful, do consider subscribing to this channel and liking this video.